Hi and welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to teach you how to use the flash animation template which is a template designed to give you greater control over simple animations enhancing their effectiveness within the classroom. This greater control includes things like a play pause toggle button, full screen restore toggle button and go to next frame, previous frame, first frame and last frame buttons. All of these can help enhance the effectiveness of animations, give you greater control of them. Animations themselves being a great tool to add to your bag of tricks within a classroom. Now, let me show you some things that I've made with the template. Here's an animation showing the Earth revolving around the Sun and its position in the various seasons. What you can do with this template is you can pause it and you can say to the kids, right, January, you know, this is the Earth's position relative to the Sun in January and talk about how it's hotter in the southern hemisphere then play it again or you can go through it step by step and show how over the various seasons the Earth changes its position relative to the Sun and the effect that that has on the temperature in various parts of the Earth. Uh, going to a different topic entirely I'll show you another animation to do with filtration this one has another button here which when you mouse over it shows you the various uh, labels of uh, apparatus in this animation and again you play it and it shows you the process of filtration and if you pause it at any stage you can then generate some class discussion about you know what do you think is going to happen next then maybe use the next frame button to slowly go through the animation and show the process stopping at any stage to have a bit more discussion or ask some questions to elicit responses from the class. Of course you can use the full screen button to enlarge it and then restore it again to a smaller size etc. Now the template can be downloaded here and when you do download it it'll look like this. Now this video assumes you've got a working knowledge of Flash and how to create animations within Flash. If you don't, you might want to have a look at it, maybe uh, have a look at some YouTubes on creating animations in Flash. If you're a New South Wales departmental teacher, be aware that Flash is a part of Adobe Suite and the department's got a licensing agreement with Adobe, meaning you can get this at really, really cheap prices and it's it's a great investment and a great tool to use within the classroom. Now I'm going to create a very simple animation uh, within this template and I'm not going to spend too much time talking about how to make the animation because I assume you can do that if you're using this template. Right I'm going to make a square and I'm going to do it in frame one of, uh, of layer one. Now layer 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 are all layers that you can play with to make your animation and of course you can make as many more layers as you want. Anything below layer 1 is part of the template so basically don't muck around with, with much under that. Now I'm going to draw a rectangle here and I'm going to create a keyframe around about frame 15 and another one around about frame 30 or thereabouts maybe one in frame 45 and here I'm going to delete this rectangle and I'm going to create another shape let's make it a pentagon and we might change the color to green doesn't have to be perfect Okay, I'm going to go back to frame 30 here and I'm going to create a shape tween so you can see that rectangle is changing into a pentagon then in layer 2 I'm going to add some text just to say a rectangle has four sides I'll change that to black I'm going to add a um, keyframe here and one here and in keyframe 45 it's not a rectangle anymore so I'm going to say a 
pentagon has five sides and I'm going to delete this here and now I've finished this very very simple animation so here we can play this and we can say right a rectangle has four sides and a pentagon has five sides what you can do is you can even do something like move this keyframe along a little bit more so that you can now maybe move this one along a bit too so now you can do it in, in terms of a, a class discussion right what shape have we got here ah that's a rectangle which has four sides play it again what shape do we have here okay have some class discussion then play it uh, pentagon has five sides like I said that's a really simple example and you can use this sort of template for any subject any year group you like uh, it's just basically limited by your imagination um, I might just say finish up with one more little trick by saying that you can increase or decrease the amount of frames here you've got a hundred by default and in this we probably don't need a hundred we could probably get away with about you know um, 60 here so I can go and delete all these I'm going to select every layer and I'm just going to keep the last one because there's a keyframe in the last uh, frame there and I'm just going to right click and say um, remove frames and now we're down to 60 you can see 64 frames there so this is the only time you'll need to get into action script and I've purposely put if we click on that action script layer go up to actions frame okay and that's F9 is the shortcut to open that if you can't see actions frame here you'll see that the button called go to last frame will take you by default to frame 100 now I said that we've actually we've altered this and we're down to 64 frames now so the only thing you'd need to do is change that from 100 to 64 likewise if you want to add some frames to take it up to 200 or 300 or 900 just change that one line of action script to however many frames you've got in your animation all right that's it uh, have fun I hope you enjoy it and I hope your kids find it useful in the classroom too thank you